Hey, I'm Jaden Martin. This is shooting with the Kodak Retina Reflex. If you haven't seen my video, a quick glance at the Kodak Retina Reflex, check it out and it'll tell you most of what you need to know about the camera. Uh, but in this video, I'll be shooting with it. What I'm going to do is uh, do a quick little shoot with my wife and uh, I'll show you some pictures from that and some pictures that I've taken with the camera before. Uh, today I'll be using Kentmere 400, uh, shot at 1600 or 800. Um, uh, other rolls that I might show, I should show you some HP5 uh, from my test roll on the camera and uh, that worked perfectly fine. The uh, 160th and 115th of a second shutter speeds didn't work so that's, you know, it's just a problem with the camera itself. I'll show you how to load the camera and then I'll show you the highlights. Then I'll talk about it a little bit, what I like, what I don't like, and uh, just how it is to use. So loading the Kodak Retina Reflex is pretty simple. It's just like any other SLR. Um, so you just have to slide that over and push this button and it opens up. And I'm going to be loading it with Kentmere 400. I just bulk rolled this. Uh, so you lift up and pop it in. There you go. Hopefully this works all right. And that's loading it. So this video up until this point was filmed about two, two and a half months ago and I explained in another video that I uh, sort of didn't have the time to keep creating videos for a while. I was going to re-record this video, do a completely new one, but then I decided that because of my arm I probably sh shouldn't because uh, that would take a while. I have to wait for my arm to heal before I can use the camera. So the photos that you just saw were uh, from the shoot a uh, couple of months ago. Uh, that, that was in the middle of winter and we were in the middle of a lockdown. We are again. So I uh, couldn't really go out to take pictures. So most of them turned out alright. You can definitely notice the grain in the film from uh, uh, 
pushing the Kent mirror to 1600. I do that quite often and it, I, I don't know, I like the grainy look. But uh, only one of the pictures had a major issue, which was with the camera. I shot at 1 60th of a second and I know that that shutter speed doesn't work. I just wanted to show it to you. The camera is really fun to use. The, um, the way that the aperture and shutter speed are tied in together in the lens makes it so that if you take a metering and you know your lighting isn't going to change, you can just uh, adjust the aperture the way you want it to be for depth of field purposes and it won't take the extra time to dial in the shutter speed. I'm going to show you a few pictures from the uh, test roll that I did on it with HP5. There was some night photography, a little bit of everything in there. sort of uh, ascertain how the camera is from the photos and from quick glance video and um, I hope you liked the video if you did give it a like and if you enjoy my content then consider subscribing to the channel and if you have any questions or comments just leave them down below thanks for watching